Let us now look at the next set of questions from this topic of thirds and indices. So here we have question number 5 and 6 and see what question 5 says. If 2 power x equals to 3 power y equals to 6 power minus z then 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is equal to what? So how do we go ahead with this? Look at this equation here right 2 power x equals to 3 power y equals to 6 power minus z. Let us assume this is equal to k right since all these three terms are equal let's assume that this is a constant value k. Now if you look at this when we say 2 power x is equal to k right implies if 2 power x is equal to k then we can say 2 is equal to k power 1 by x. Yes or no? Just simply remember that the power x here, when it is taken to the other side, it becomes 1 by x. Now that's not the right way to look at it, but that's kind of a shortcut which you can remember. Alright? Any power, when it is taken to the other side, it becomes reciprocal of it. Right? So x becomes 1 by x. Now what's the logic behind this? Very simple. We are taking the x to root of both the terms. Right? We are taking x to root on both the sides. So x to root of 2 power x will be equal to 2 x root of 2 power x, n root of a power n is equal to a. So x root of a power x equals to 2 and x root of k, x root of k is k power 1 by x. Alright, so that is the point, taking x root on both the sides. So the other way to look at it is just take the power on the other side, it becomes reciprocal of it. Okay, likewise if 3 power y equals to k, right, 3 power y is equal to k. So what do we get from this? 3 will be equal to k power 1 by y. And similarly 6 power minus z equals to k. 6 power minus z is equal to k. This becomes, I mean this implies 6 will be equal to k to the power of minus 1 by z. Alright, it becomes a reciprocal. So minus z becomes minus 1 by z. Okay, the negative sign would remain. Okay, it does not mean that the negative sign becomes positive when it goes to the other side. See that happens only when you are changing the basis. I mean if you take some value here on left hand side, if it is pushed to right hand side then it becomes negative. But in case of powers, the sign would not change. It becomes reciprocal. So minus x becomes minus 1 by x. As simple as that. So now we know that 2 is equal to k power 1 by x, 3 equals to k power 1 by y and 6 equals to k power minus 1 by z. Now what do we do? 2 into 3 is equal to 6, right? 2 into 3 will be equal to 6, right? 2 into 3 equals 6. So we are just multiplying the first two equations to get a third equation. So can we say k power 1 by x into k power 1 by y equals to k power 1 by z or minus 1 by z, right? This is 2, k power 1 by x is 2, k power 1 by y is 3. 2 into 3 is equal to k power minus 1 by z which is 6. Right? Now, if you apply the laws of indices, when the bases are equal and are getting multiplied, the powers have to be added. So we can say k power 1 by x plus k power 1 by y equals to k power minus 1 by z. Now when the bases are equal, the powers have to be equated. So we can say 1 by x plus 1 by y equals to minus 1 by z. And then we take this minus 1 by z to the other side. What do we get? 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z. So this implies 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z will be equal to 0. That's your answer. Alright? Minus 1 by z goes on the other side. So 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z equals to 0. So the question mark here will be equal to 0. So that's how you look at such a question, right? The point here is 6 is equal to 2 into 3. So we are just trying to multiply that so that we get the given expression here. 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z. Let's look at the next one, right? Interesting one here. If 8 power a equals to 10, 10 power b is equal to 12, 12 power c equals to 14, and 14 power d equals to 16, then we need to find the value of a, b, c, d, right? a, b, c, d is equal to what? Now these are typical questions which are not very frequent but you need to be you know good at answering such questions as well. So what do we do here? See we want what comes in place of A, B, C, D. So A, B, C and D all these are getting multiplied. All these are getting multiplied. And if you look at it A, B, C, D are actually the powers in four different expressions. So let's see how can we you know get a multiplication of all these powers. What we do here is we know that 10 is equal to 8 power A. So substitute 8 power A in place of 10. Likewise 12 is equal to 10 power B. So substitute whatever we have in place of 10 power B in this equation. 14 is equal to uh, 12 power C. So in place of 14 we can substitute 12 power C. And then equate 
and find out what comes in place of a b c d right let's see we see that 10 power b equals to 12 10 power b equals to 12 which implies since 10 is equal to 8 power a put it here so we get 8 power a whole power b equals to 12 or this is nothing but 8 power a b equals to 12 8 power a b equals to 12 now if you look at the next term here 12 power c equals to 14 12 power c equals to 14 but we know that 12 is 8 power a b so let's substitute 8 power a b in place of 12 so what do we get 8 power a b whole to the power of c equals to 14 so what do we get 8 power a b c equals to 14 now if you look at the last term here 14 power d equals to 16 14 power d is equal to 16 but what is 14 it is 8 power a b c so let's substitute that in place of 14 so 8 power a b c whole to the power of d is equal to 16 which implies 8 power a b c d equals to 16 right we are applying the simple point of a power m whole power n will be equal to a power m n a power m n so a into b a b into c a b c into d now 8 power a b c d equals to 16 the bases are not equal but if we write each of these base in terms of 2 then the powers can be equated all right so 8 can be taken as 2 cube so this implies 2 cube whole raised to the power of a b c d equals to 16 can be taken as 2 power 4 now we can equate the powers what is the power here 3 into a b c d right so 3 into a b c d is 3 a b c d is equal to 4 all right i'm just taking the powers here don't get confused we are just eliminating the base since they are equal the powers have to be equated so 3 a b c d equals to 4 so what should be the value of a b c d a b c d would be 4 by 3 that's your answer what comes in place of a b c d it has to be 4 by 3